असतो मसदगमय तमसो मोते गमय मृत्यो अमृतंग गमय From the very beginning man was created just as any other animal an animal with five gifted senses senses of sight of hearing of touch of smell and of taste inbuilt with the five vital life forces the respiratory circulatory digestive excretory and the nervous force the ability of man to use his senses with these life forces enables him to form accurate notions of the operations of nature thus enabling him to assimilate data in its raw form churn it with his power house the human brain to attain knowledge yes the human brain and its abilities indeed puts us apart from all other animals further this leads us to the theory of human evolution through knowledge which again is broadly classified into five evolutional stages leading to the top of the pyramid with data as available facts as the base rising as well as getting strained at every level to ultimately reach enlightenment at the peak which is the clarity of perception attained by just a few the pancha koshas or the five layers of the human soul the five elements of nature fire earth water air and space of which every particle of creation is composed strongly leads us to the magical presence of the five in its abundance in nature be it in flowers in fruits in leaves in theories the five it is everywhere the hibiscus a symbol of purity a symbol of new beginnings the flower offered to lord ganesha the god of wisdom and knowledge this hibiscus too magically always has five petals thus forming a strong base to intentionally pick the hibiscus and the number 5 as a strong guiding force a force solely attained from mother mother nature goa the scenic abode on the map of india gifted with immense beauty Dharbandora the new baby on the taluka map of goa an absolutely perfect location for the goa multi faculty college the site aptly located on the ponda belgaum highway yet with sufficient buffer to retain its identity amidst nature's abundance the location and placement of buildings on site is but a reflection of these guiding forces To begin with the site is sufficiently buffered from the main highway the access to which is taken in the form of this grand driveway leading you to the main entrance gateway a point at which you leave the rest behind and enter the goa multi faculty college a transition that takes you into a world apart at this central focal point right ahead of you is placed the main administrative block which carries your visual access further to its five pyramidal roofs and to the five petal hibiscus flower inspired roof of the first academic block beyond the administrative block will be the central spine of the entire complex and hence so located this block will only be reached by pedestrian access with adequate vehicular drop off points this juncture also happens to be the central point of the five access plan the first access being the one you drove by 
the other two taking you along the periphery of the site to residential spaces beyond, the fourth and the fifth axis lead you to the second academic block and the library section, placed at the right and left of the central administrative block respectively. This essentially completes the central built form of the complex. The hibiscus flower is used as the prime identity for the block which identifies the central soul of the complex, education. Hence, the academic blocks in the complex are broadly based on the hibiscus and its five-petal theory. Each petal in the five-petal academic block comprises of an entire college of a single stream of study. The ground and two stories above at each level will accommodate six classrooms, faculty rooms and a meeting room opening onto a court at the centre. The fabricated petal roof above will further reflect onto the connect with nature, wherein each petal will have a balance of opaque and translucent sheets to bring in adequate amounts of sunlight into the building. The supporting members of the fabricated petal will essentially resemble the veins of a leaf, further enhanced by creepers which will be grown onto them bringing life into the building. Further, the cluster of these five petals, which include five different streams of study, open onto this bigger central court, again creating the magic of built and open spaces, keeping students in continuous close connect with nature. As you drive into this tree-lined driveway, to your right is the convention center, intentionally located such that it can comfortably be used by the inmates as well as visitors, for which again ample parking spaces are provided for, and to your left is the higher secondary school and the electricity department. As you drive further along the peripheral axis, you are led into vast open spaces which accommodate various sports infrastructures, comprising of the central open courts for football, volleyball and basketball, an indoor stadium, a sports academy and to the extreme end is placed the amphitheater, all of which are well serviced by the peripheral vehicular roads as well as a well interspersed network of pedestrian pathways. Beyond the sports complex is placed the amenity hub, ideally so that it will be easily accessed by the inmates who will be residing in the housing section comprising of student hostels and faculty residences placed along the rear edge of the site. A cluster of these housing units is again placed with keeping to the five axis guiding force. Here again, the vehicular access will be limited to the periphery, leaving central pedestrian spaces. This broadly explains the various uses of space, creating a well-balanced play of built and unbuilt spaces while strictly adhering to the strong base concept. The campus will also be eco-friendly. It will use rainwater harvesting from roofs to preserve water. There will be vermicompost pits to convert wet waste to organic manure for the plants. The campus will have solar street lights, thus saving on electricity. The entire place will have a scientifically designed sewage treatment plant to treat the sewage and use the clean water to keep the campus green. The Goa Multi-Faculty College envisages Mr. Ganesh Gaukar's great vision of sustainable development through education by aiming to empower underprivileged children born in rural and remote tribal areas by providing them the opportunity of modern education for their sustainable and holistic development. Thank you.